by a mark here, I often get asked about um, fuel stations and I thought I would give you a bit of a look around my um, fuel station in my shed just so you can get a bit of a uh, look at what I've done. So I'll take you for a bit of a tour. I have a rack, hangs on my wet suits and dry suit. I have my G cylinders for mixing tri-mix. I've, I've got banked one air, three nitrox. I have my transfill whips down below. I made trolleys to put my tanks in. Uh, I hot dip galfed them all as well so the salt water doesn't corrode or rust them. I have my fill bath where I fill my tanks. Some say you should, some say you shouldn't put them in water. It's pretty controversial, but you know, I, I still use one. I have my O2 for making nitrox or mixing gas. Cylinders. I have a nitrox sticks we made, made out of stainless. We put baffles inside. That's my panel. So three nitrox, one, two, three, air. I have um, mine on quick connect. I put my, my fill whips on quick connect. This is my, to adjust the booster. So I connect, I have my booster here. I have it hard plumbed. It's a hydraulic international, works well. That's for when I'm mixing nitrox. That, that's, that's running straight into the stick. There, straight in. And then you can see the O2 is coming. O2 comes straight in the top. Raises down there. You can see That's the gauges. That's the bench. I don't know if I'm servicing some regs at home, my own regs or something. That's my, there. All my service gear. I do a lot of vintage uh, diving as well and vintage repair work. So as you can see, I have a fair few kits here for various regulators servicing Lots of equipment I need. Have my rebreather, Revo. I have a three D printer. Often printing stuff. So most important for when we go diving, we have our first aid kit. Then I have my analyzer, Dysoft analyzer. Really good unit, actually. Really good. Also, I'm, this is a uh, portable booster. When I, I'm out in the field diving or on location out in the boat, I can take this one with me, plug in a tank, and um, boost some O2 for my rebreather. Have my sorb here. Made the trolley as well. Um, once again, I hot dip galved it so the salt doesn't bother if it gets salt on it. Also, do some helmet diving. So, I have my panel for the helmet. That's the helmet I use. Comms for the helmet. Boots. And as we come around, I have uh, open circuit, closed circuit in each box. I have a little Bauer Junior if I'm going, just if I want to quickly fill a tank or I'm out on the field, so I can quickly um, take that with me. Then I have a, the Bauer, it's a 200, so it's, it pumps the gas pretty well. Pretty happy with that compressor. Um, B timer, auto dump. Then my, um, they're the whips for the booster. These are the whips for the panel. Once again, I have another trans fill, so a couple of trans fills. Just to always keep notice just what gas I've got around. Have a pressure tester in case I want to computer or small camera housings or something so I can um, test in there. So that's a bit of a view of my um, shed at home here. Um, yeah, it took a while to set up, but I think um, there was no real books I could read or anything like that. I just set it up the best I could and 
best I thought I have seen a new house so pretty happy with it that's my analyzer um, there's a few analyzers in here I have this one got one here obviously a portable probably a bit of overkill with all those analyzers yeah so that's my shed thanks for looking